So today we will build a ping pong delay setup inside the grid. It's really a great way to see how something like this is working, what is the signal flow, but also it opens up lots of possibilities for sound design, placing all sorts of various processing in the signal chain and creating a unique instrument. And I will try to make this as beginner friendly as possible. As always, if you enjoy this video and other videos on this channel, consider joining our community on Patreon and Discord. And let's get right to it. I have here a voice with a phase 4 instrument that I can play with my keyboard. And in this case, I have an empty FX grid and I'm using the FX grid since we will be building an effect, namely a delay. And as you can see, the input is already connected to the output. And again, this is why we have already sound. Now let's already add a delay to this and we will use the long delay module. Right, it will look like this. And then again, if I just drag it, it will connect this in between. So now the input goes to the delay and this goes to the output and already there is something we have to do. Now, if I play this voice as it is, you will notice that the whole sound will be delayed and we get only the fully wet signal, right? You see the sound is delayed. So what we have to do is add the dry signal to this as well and the ability to change the amount of delay. So for this, we will use the blend module. If we go to mix, we have the blend, right? So the original sound from the input will go once to the blend and from there to the output. So this will be our original sound, right? The dry signal and then from the delay, we will get another channel, right? We will um, name this mix. So this will be the mix control for the delay between dry and wet, right? So all the way to the left, we have just the dry signal. All the way to the right, again, it will be delayed. But then in the center, it will be 50-50. Now, the delay we will send through a mixer first, and you will see also soon enough why. So again, if I go and I add the mixer, I will send the delay before it goes to the blend module, it will go to the mixer. So now we have one delay set, but for a ping pong effect, we need another delay. So I will just duplicate this long delay another time. Now, if we use it as it is now, so if I connect this to another channel of the mixer and I play something, you will see that the delay will just be louder. Again, we will get just one delay, but it will be twice as loud. And that's because a ping pong delay will actually ping pong between the delays. So the input for the second delay should come from the first delay and not from the original voice. So I will disconnect the original voice from the second delay and I will use a copy of the first delay which will go to the second delay. So what we have now, we have the original sound going once through this blend module to the output directly dry, and it goes once to the, what we will call soon enough, the left delay, which is going to the output, but it's also being fed into the second delay, and this also goes to the output. So now if I play this, we will get two taps. We get once the dry signal, once the left delay and once will be the right delay. And now, and that's why I used another mixer, we can really pan them left and right. So we get one tap will be totally to the left and the second tap will be panned hard right. So now the sound will ping pong also left and right. So again, we will get three taps, the original and then the left and then the right. I hope you are with headphones and you can hear this. So now let's really name them left, right? This will be the left delay and this will be the, the right delay. 
the left one will be let's say orange the right one will be yellow right so now what we need is to add feedback control for now we only get the one repetition from each delay from each step right we get again the original sound and then we again we get one from the left and one from the right but that's it but we want to have also feedback control. So for this, we can use another mixer. I will add here another mixer module. The original sound will go first through the mixer and then to the delay. So I disconnect it from the first delay or the left delay. So the original sound will go first through this mixer and then to the left delay. And then the right delay will go also to this mixer. So again, we use a copy of it. So after it uh, receives the signal from the left delay, it will go to another channel on the mixer. So now we have a feedback loop, right? The left delay goes to the right delay, which will go to the mixer, which is again feeding back into the left, which goes to the right, which goes back to the mixer, back to the left, back to the right, and so on and so forth. And the level of the second channel here on the mixer, this yellow channel will control the feedback amount. So now if I take it all the way down, again, we have no feedback, just the three taps, the original and then the left and right. Right, but now I can start adding feedback. So now the delay will also slowly fade out. Right, and this control here, this yellow channel will control the feedback amount. Of course, if you go above zero, the feedback or the delay signal will get stronger and louder so watch your levels and now this setup is your oyster you can go in many directions and experiment with all sorts of processing in various places as always i've built a few more examples for my patrons if you're interested links in the description but let's look at a few options so for example we can have different delay times on the left and right delays and again since they are linked it will affect the whole processed signal so for example we can change the right delay time to have five bits and before we listen to this, I will add also some reverb. I have here, of course, the supermassive from Valhalla. And then instead of having them panned left and right, we can randomly modulate their panning. So for this, we can use something like the sample and hold LFO and then modulate them in opposite directions. So first of all, I would like this. Let me zoom in a bit. I would like this to be smooth modulation that is not being triggered with each new note. So I turn off this re-trigger. And then I would also like this to be sort of free running in hertz and not according to the uh, note speed. Now we will bring them back to the center and then one will be modulated to the left while the other is modulated in the opposite direction. And we can do this also in a bipolar way. So not only it will be modulated left, but it will be modulated right as well. And this will be the opposite. So if the upper one goes left the lower one will go right and you can see this quite clearly here right so now it will be also with modulation random panning modulation we can also have some processing only on the right delay for example we can add a phaser Right, so again, we have here access to the delay signal separately, the left and right. So let's say I would like to have a phaser just on the right delay. So I will take the right delay out of the mixer, send it first through a phaser. For example, I can have the mix all the way up. Let's see what happens here. Right, and again, this will be only 
only only on this channel on the right delay but now the real fun is that we also have access to the feedback loop so we can also place some modules there for example a high pass filter right we have access to the feedback loop we can place modules here in the chain so let's have a high pass filter right switch this to high pass and then again disconnect this from the mixer and take a new cable go through the filter to the mixer right to the feedback loop let's take the resonance down for now no need for key tracking and let's go with something like here for example 400 hertz so now each repetition will go first through the filter and then back right in the feedback loop it will go back to the filter and back to the delay and back to the filter and so on and so forth so let's see how this will sound like right maybe a bit more and maybe a bit resonance maybe a bit more feedback even Right, so you can hear also the high pass there. We can also send this through more processing, for example, a flanger. So I can send this filter through a flanger first. Again, let's take the feedback down because we already have feedback control. The mix all the way up. Let's have a listen to this. Now we can also add more modulation, for example, amplitude modulation to the right delay, right? So if I use another LFO, right, I can set it to control the level, the amplitude of this right delay. So I take the uh, level all the way down on the mixer and then I can modulate, modulate this with the LFO. Right, and maybe also here I can change it to be free running. And then let's have a listen to this. Right, I hope you can hear this. So you can see the sound design possibilities we have with this setup. You can definitely experiment with this for quite some time. Once again, if you are interested, come join us on Patreon and Discord. Thank you for watching. Cheers.